Okay, good evening everyone. Good to see everyone here. Good evening. Hi. Hi Joe. Morning I see you, at night I see you again. Okay. Good to see everyone here. Okay, today is our day four. Okay, day four of our uh, trading chart pattern. Okay, I hope uh, the first last few day was useful. I've been doing some survey. If you have not filled in the survey of what you want to learn, go to the uh, group and um, and write down what you want to learn. Okay. Uh, seems like people want to learn about new instrument. Okay. Uh, when I when I when I ask the question, right? Where is that link? When I ask the question, right, most people want to learn about options, okay? Interesting, okay? Uh, because I thought you all want to, learn, want to learn about other things, but the thing is you all want to learn more about options. So if you all uh, go fill up, okay, I think now options is like, wow, 31, 31 people interested in uh, doing options, okay? So I'm uh, going to fill out that link and... Uh, Anybody got that link there? Okay, you can share the link later. Okay, never mind. I will just go into our training. Okay, this is a very important uh, slide. As usual, I need to go this. I need to ask you all this. Whatever I share with you all is for education purpose. It's not advised to buy and sell. If you agree, please type yes. Oh, I see a lot of familiar faces. Sheldon, Susan. Raymond, okay, you all agree? Please start. Yes, Derek, Lily, Lily is a graduate. I don't know. Okay, but never mind. Okay, okay. Yes, so yesterday we covered. Uh, yesterday we covered. Uh, the head and shoulder pattern. Is it interesting? Okay, that are there some distinction of head and shoulder pattern? How many of y'all will we well, here yesterday. If you are here yesterday, can you type me? I know some of you are here since yesterday, one. Okay. If you are since yesterday, uh, type me. Okay. Okay. Gary is here. Archer. Okay. Archer is here. Okay. So, so I, I, I did not cover this part. Maybe I want to cover uh, one more time. Okay. Uh, before I go into the next pattern, is this a very important point? Okay. Uh, as this. The existence of a prior trend is important as a prerequisite for reversal pattern. Okay, that means uptrend, then go downtrend, downtrend, then go uptrend. The reversal pattern is important. Second one, I mentioned this before, break of the trend line, okay, is often uh, the first signal of a uh, impending uh, reversal pattern. Okay. Number three, you just didn't even ask, right? Hey, Colin, uh, can, does it apply to one minute chart? Does it apply to 10 minute chart or day chart or week chart? So the larger the pattern, the greater the price potential. Okay. Larger the pattern, the greater the uh uh the, the potential. So if this pattern took uh is took very long to form, okay. That means this is a very a significant pattern. Okay, I think this next one is very important. Okay, this one is very important, which is very fundamental of analysis. Topping pattern is usually shorter than uh, it's usually shorter in direction and more volatile than bottom. Okay, think about it. When a pattern is at the top, right? Okay, when a pattern is at the top, okay, it's very fast. Okay, so it's, it's a very sharp up move and then a very sharp down move. Okay, topping pattern are usually like that: very sharp up move and very sharp down move. Okay. And on the on if it's uh, on the top is usually volatile. Okay, do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, if a market is topping, it's usually very short and it's very volatile. The price range are big. Uh, and the next one is very important. Okay, 
Next one is very important. If a market has bottom, okay, when the market is bottom, what are the telltale sign when the market is uh, telling you it's bottom? Okay, the bottom usually have small price range. Hey, hi, Abby. Very long, never see you. Okay, so have small price range. Do you all follow what I'm saying? So what happened is usually when I build base, right, it is not high, long, big candles. You have build base, in, in, in a market, it's not long, big candles. It's usually the range gets smaller and smaller, okay? And it takes time to build because after, uh, when people are fearful, okay? When people are fearful and they want confident and come back, it's not immediate, okay? It's not immediate. So that is why a bottom usually take uh, a longer time to build and bottom also usually means smaller price range. The other one's price range, it means high minus low, okay? The, the top of the high price minus the low price, the range is always usually smaller, okay? And last one, volume is usually uh, more important on the upside, okay? When the price break up, okay, usually that is important, okay? I think this is very fundamental. It's like basic of technical analysis. And I hope uh, from this, you'll find you useful. Okay, uh, to identify whether market is bottom or top. top okay. Any question? Okay, so uh, Chi Kyung asked, right? Chi Kyung asked this, okay. Uh, are topping pattern more reliable than bottom pattern? Example here and show them bottom. Okay, so reversal pattern, right? Whether it's top or bottom uh, is usually less reliable than what we call continuation pattern, okay? They are less reliable and then they are less often also, okay? They're less reliable and less often, okay? In the future, we can talk about triangles, okay? Like ascending triangles, descending triangles. All these will usually be more reliable and happen more often than a reversal pattern, okay? Because think about it, how often does a trend reverse? Not often, right? You know, like a trend is uptrend, 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 it's keep going uptrend. So it's not a very, uh, it's not very often that trend reverse, okay? But does trend continue? Yes, okay? Usually trend, the trend is your friend, there will be a, a consolidation, and then after that, the trend will continue to move up. So usually, uh, uh, continuation pattern happen more often and it's usually more reliable, so, okay? Jikyong. Okay, so uh, yesterday we talked about this uh, pattern, any question for those that are around? Any question? Don't have a question, I move on. Huh? Okay, so yesterday we hit turn leg and head and shoulder pattern. Today we want to cover um, Okay, so yesterday we talked about the statistics. Okay, statistics for bottom, right? Uh, 3%, top is 20%. Uh, uh, Pattern. Okay, these are just the reverse. Okay, so the head and shoulder top, you can't hit shoulder bottom. Okay, that's it. Okay, now we talk about uh, this uh, falling wedge. Okay, falling wedge is um, what we want to look for is something like that. Okay, falling wedge is something like that. Uh, let me just draw. Okay, maybe it's easier to just draw. Okay, give me a second. Huh? Okay, so in falling wedge again, all most of the chart pattern right has these two things called double top. Hey, sorry, double top. Most of these two things has price projection and time projection. Okay, I think almost all chart pattern has price projection and time projection. Do you all still remember the time projection and then price projection? I, I, I won't go through again. Huh? Okay, so in falling wedge, right, it's usually like that. So you have one line that's going this way, and then the other line that is, is going this way. Okay, okay, so you have, uh, you need at least uh, four points. Uh, okay, you need at least four points to uh, determine is a falling wedge. Uh. Okay, so falling wedge is a reversal pattern. So 
uh, in a reversal pattern. After the reversal pattern, then the prior trend is downtrend. Then the next one is what trend? Next one is uptrend, yes or no? Oh, so this is a falling wedge. Okay, so what are the things uh, that you want to look at is number one, prior trend, prior trend over here, the prior trend is downtrend. Okay, so uh, this price over here must come down from here. Okay, that means prior to this, this is this is a downtrend. Okay, then after that, then from here, reversal, this part is going uptrend. Okay, this is a call of a wedge. Okay. And number two is uh, there is usually a, 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 a line here. There's this trend line here. Okay. And this upper trend line here. And then there's a lower trend line here. So this lower line, right, over here, it is uh, slightly um, not a channel. So this one is slightly uh, not as steep as this one. Okay, so this is called a channel. And then after that, there's usually a volume break. Okay. In a volume break, right? In a volume break, what it means is in a volume break is when the price, this part, right? Same thing, okay? You will need you will need a, a break a break in volume. Okay, like this. This candle over here will break in volume. Okay. And after that, okay, I need to draw like that. Uh, sorry. Okay. At least I have four points. Okay, one point, two point. Three point and four point. At least four points to determine. Okay, you got it. And then the prior trend is downtrend. Okay, so uh, volume. Okay, volume prior as the price go lower. Okay, the volume start to reduce. Okay, so here the five the volume start to go down. Okay, so that means what it means to you is as the price go lower, people are not willing to participate anymore. People are not willing to sell anymore. Uh, there is less volume until this part, okay, then volume start to increase back again. Okay, this volume here, people start to increase back again. Okay, so this is an example of a falling wedge. So what are the price projection and time projection? In this case, the price projection it is the biggest point, okay, the, the four point, right? Where is the biggest uh, part or the biggest part of the, the this wedge, right? The biggest part of this wedge will become what we call the um the biggest part of this wedge will be called called the uh, h okay will become called the h and then from here onwards you will project this h upwards that is the um minimum price it will go okay this is the minimum price it will go and the time okay time will be taken from the how long this pattern takes to build okay and then from here onwards, this will be the T, okay, like that. Okay, so this is the minimum price and this is the maximum time for it to build. Okay, any question? Okay, again, I want to mention this kind of pattern does not happen so often because it's a reversal pattern. Okay, no question, type no, then I can move on. <coughs> There's also that as correct uh, four point mean uh, too high too low. Okay. Any question? Yeah, well, yesterday market the the star hub is down. Huh? Wow, those people trading one don't know how. Okay. So next we go back into our slides. Actually, my favorite is not uh reversal pattern my favorite is continuation pattern okay during a market uptrend right during a market uptrend uh reversal uh this triangles happen very often okay okay this pattern is a reversal pattern okay so this is rising wedge opposite uh, it was rising, rising wedge we have a trend line here and we have a trend line here okay and the price breakdown okay so the this are failure rate, okay. Failure rate here is two percent, is six percent, and the likely drop twenty percent and fifty percent. Okay, this is the failure rate and likely drop. Okay, I'm trying to skip. Okay, I think by now you all know that this is very old slide. Uh, I done this like twelve years ago. <laughs> okay, so a continuation pattern. Okay, continuation pattern is more interesting. Okay, uh, it's more interesting. Okay, so 
Later, I'll talk about triangles. Okay, triangles, you all are back. You should be very excited about triangles, especially what kind of triangles? Uh, ascend, uh, ascending triangle number two. Okay, number, number ascending triangle. When you see ascending triangle, usually it's very high uh, heat rate. Okay, very very high heat rate, and uh, I think that's the highest. Ascending triangle is the highest, even better than descending triangle. Number two, I think is descending triangle, then followed by symmetrical triangle. Okay, so these are pattern that happen very often in bull run. Okay, it keep happening, and then they have very high reliability and at the same time are uh, very often also okay i remember in uh 206 2005 to 2007 uh, okay uh that was like uh 15 or 15 years ago right i last time have a chat room okay we use this uh i forgot what's the name of the chat room but we use we don't have all this whatsapp thing yet uh, okay so we use this uh like a browser chat room wow the time when we see Triangle pattern, right? Then we post. Okay, this is a triangle pattern. Palm immediately next minute at Singapore market, you know, next minute the market the the stock run already. Okay, so I don't know whether it's because people are going to rush in to buy or what, but from two zero five to two zero uh sorry, I think it's later that it's about two zero seven onwards, two zero seven two zero six two zero seven onwards. Wow. Then a lot, a lot, a lot of all this. Okay, so let me go back to the. The screen here. So uh, let me talk about um, triangles, symmetrical triangles. Symmetrical triangles are like that. Okay. So continuation pattern. So continuation pattern means prior trend is uptrend. Okay. Prior trend is uptrend, and then after that it goes uh, into a pattern. Let's say example is a symmetrical triangle. It go into a pattern. And then eventually like that okay symmetrical triangle okay i draw it should draw nicer okay like that okay do you follow what i'm saying okay so this symmetrical triangle so what are the things in symmetrical triangle number one is usually symmetrical triangle is shorter okay it's shorter in duration compared in fact all continuation pattern are shorter in duration than reversal pattern reversal pattern like head and shoulder all this usually take longer to build okay because for a trend to change right for a trend like the head and shoulder pattern to form right it will take quite a long time to build okay sometimes can be a lot as long as uh three months to six months okay three months to six months whereas the uh, uh continuation pattern sometimes can last two weeks on the daily chart okay both i'm talking about daily charts okay so this daily charts can take about six months to, to build this can sometimes take one month or few weeks to build. That's all. Both are on daily chart. Okay. So uh, what are the things to look out for when you're looking at uh, symmetrical triangle? In symmetrical triangles, uh, again, must have four points. Okay. Four points. One, two, three, four. Uh, volume. Volume at the breakout point. So remember, every time breakout must have volume. Okay. So this breakout point, you look downwards, must have volume. Okay. Okay, just to maybe um, explain the logical uh, the logic behind this uh, is why this happened is prior trend is uptrend. Okay, so after that they they are hesitant. They don't know whether they want to go up further. So the book the bears come in. They don't know what to go down go up further. So that's why there's a bull and bear fight. Okay, so eventually the bull won. That's why it break up from this downtrend line. You got it? Okay. So that volume increase and then prior to this uh this part okay the volume actually drops so in the in the triangle here the volume actually drops okay so it's like i don't know where to go i don't know where to go and eventually i decide to go out okay that so that is the thing uh breakout time frame breakout time frame will be the will be this how long the biggest part okay the the biggest part uh of the triangle okay of this triangle uh will be how long which is will become the t okay this will become the t here okay this will become a t here and then after that from here you project upwards this will be the t okay okay i, I draw this wrongly yeah usually it doesn't like immediately just go up okay usually what happened is after this okay you usually have a pullback okay pullback and sometimes it can pull back into the apex. Okay, apex is like the the point. Uh, okay, this is the apex. Okay, 
apex and then after that and rebound okay so there is a pullback in the apex and then after that rebound and price target again price target this h right this h over here sorry my color all over the place right this h over here will become the h projection from here upwards to the h okay any question No question, type no. Any question, type question, type your question. Okay, so uh, why I like this, right? Later I explain. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a triangle, a symmetrical triangle. Prior trend, uh, this should be going up, okay? So this is going up for four points. And then after that, once you break out, okay, break out from this point, Break up from this point, okay. You can actually do this H. This is the H line, okay. 5.8. Eventually, you hit 5.8 over here. Okay. Time, time is the time I mentioned already. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about strategy. Okay, strategy, how to trade this. This one are uh, not as complicated as the um, reversal pattern. This one is quite straightforward. How to trade this? For all the candle pattern, right? For triangle, how to trade this will be on the breakout. Okay, you can either trade on the breakout over here, or you can wait for the pullback. Okay, you can wait for the pullback to do over here. So either at this breakout point, okay, you can do this breakout point entry here, then stop loss inside. Okay, or you pull an entry here, stop loss inside. Okay. The only thing is in the Pull back, uh, sometimes it will not pull back enough. Okay, sometimes it will not pull back. So if you don't pull back, then you will have entries. Okay, hopefully later we can look at some stocks. Okay, we can look at some stock, identify all these patterns. Okay, which we haven't been doing. Uh, okay, but later part, hopefully we can, you can call up some stocks and then we can take a look at that. Okay, I'm not below the apex. Uh, uh, I wrong, it's not below the apex, it's below the swing. Okay, this is the swing below the swing. Okay, Benson is not below the apex, it's below the swing. Okay, Benson. Okay, so uh, this is the failure rate. Okay, very low, you see. Once, it, once it's successful, okay, once successful, meaning to say, oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, um, Okay, so this one, right, Benson, is when you entry here, it is not below the apex, it's below the swing low. Oh, below the swing low over here. So let's say, example, you enter here, your swing low, I think it should also low, okay, it should be at the swing low. Okay, remember uh, Monday, uh, the day one, day two, we talked about candlesticks? Yes or no? So over here, right, if you can zoom in and then you can see some kind of candlestick pattern okay like a reversal pattern okay maybe a brown candle followed by a hammer or something like that okay then next day go up again then you enter then you put a stop loss here so here can be something like that okay here can be also a, a hammer it can be a doji it can be some kind of pattern. correct okay if you enter the first one same thing okay, if you enter the first one Okay, so let me just go into detail. Uh, okay, let's say example. Um, let me draw here. Okay, so I draw the candlestick so you understand. Okay, so let's say example we have the line. Okay, then this is the breakout candle. Okay, this is the breakout candle. Okay, so if let's say you enter the breakout candle. Okay, you enter the breakout candle. You can enter the stop loss. Look at this. Breakout candle, the lowest point, the lowest point of the breakout candle will become your stop loss. Okay? Got it? Okay? So let's say, example, uh, the candle is very, very long. Okay, let's say, example, the candle is very, very long. It's very very long okay then you may 
if it's very very long right you may not be able to put your stop loss here too too much right okay then you can use half got it um ng asked a very technical question so how will the ma look like in this kind of situation later i, I go through uh uh the track the other triangle i'll show you okay I will show you this in the, the other triangle. Okay, so let me move on. Then I will show you uh, how does MA come into play. Okay, and hopefully I want to look for some stock, practical stocks. Okay, so next one is ascending triangle. This is the ascending triangle I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, these are the things we need to watch out for. Okay, these are the things we need to watch out for. Uh, let me just shift to. Um, Okay, so uh, a setting triangle will be something like that. A setting triangle will be something like that. So you have this top line, it's a flat line. Then we have a bottom line, which is sloping up this way. Uh, this is a straight line, okay, guys. Then after that, we have the price. Okay, let me have some system of drawing. Okay? Price will be green color, okay? So price will move like that. Do you follow what I'm saying? And then eventually break out, okay? So what are the how to tell is you have flat resistance on top, you have an ascending, you have an ascending lower, a higher low, you have a higher low, a equal high, a higher low. Okay, you have an equal high, a higher low, that is the, the tell, tell thing sign. Okay. So from here again, what are the things to watch out for is the volume. Okay, volume over here is breakout. It is breakout point, volume increase. This one quite important. Okay. Quite important on this candle here volume breakout is very, uh, I say very important okay you must see volume breakout okay as the price go down this way as the price go this way there is indecision so the volume actually drops so what ha what's happening the story right is like that you see when you hit a resistance this is a resistance yes or not okay it's hit a resistance so price don't know why they want to go up further. So as it go up, go up, they may be here, they may be a uh, uh, sell candle, here may be a doji, you follow what I'm saying? So they are they, they're tentative to go up, okay? But the buyers, are, the buyers are willing to buy at higher and higher price. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, and so you need four points, one, two, three, four, that's what, four points only, okay? So the buyers are willing to buy at higher, higher price, and eventually the bulls won. Okay, so this is a breakout. The bulls won, and then the price could continue to go higher. So, so it's called continuation method. Yes. Any question? Okay, the apex is just very simple. You join this line, right? Okay, join this line. The apex is just like that. Let me see this. Okay, so what are the things to watch out for? Okay, this one uh, for distinction. Uh, okay, number one is a breakout will not happen, right? A good breakout, right, will not happen right at the end. That means you will not do this and then all the way to the apex. Okay, usually a breakout point is about two thirds. Okay, so from here, this is the base of the, this is the base of the, of the triangle, right? This is the base of the triangle. So from here to here. Usually it's about two third, okay? The from here to here, it's about one third, okay? So the earlier the price breakout, that means uh, if less than, less than two third, it break out. That means this breakout is strong, okay? This breakout is strong. Whereas let's say the price go and consolidate very close to the apex, uh, that means this breakout will not be strong, okay? Why? Because people anxious to willing to buy a higher, higher price and price willing to go higher. Do you follow what I'm saying? You will understand, understand that yes, you're still with me.
but very lag oh. okay so never mind any question okay so to summarize again this this is the volume okay this is the uh, last uh, one more thing is the price and time projection okay the price and time projection the height will be here this is the height from here to here this will be the height so from here you project upwards that will be the height okay and the time time will be this one t and then from here you project t okay i, I may be exaggerate that in fact may not end up so far away okay if you understand type, type yes okay at least i know you are still there okay so let's take a look at some stocks yes okay so let's take a look at some stocks and we try to identify triangles here and shoulder and things like that okay so let's make it practical okay okay chart pattern is something like that it's a little bit of art okay it's like you know you need to see where is the head where is the shoulder it's a bit of art it's unlike traders gps right Trader gps is like yes or no you know signal buy means buy signal sell means sell. very very objective that's why i don't teach chart pattern can i say so much of can I pattern in the class because it's so hard to it's it depends on the skill yes or no so if the skill is so good then it can be wrong okay so the ratio will be the same for symmetrical triangle yes okay two third okay uh choose some stocks and then we see whether we can find some triangle and things like that anyone regularly traded stocks wow so lag huh? any regularly traded stocks wow singapore stock okay never mind all singapore stocks okay i don't really trade singapore stocks okay because singapore stocks very boring okay it's like like uh wow so many singapore stocks okay okay so we go to daily charts okay before i go into uh, before i go into this i want to encourage you all to look outside of singapore guys okay look outside of singapore number one singapore commission is high okay minimum 25 dollars okay uh that's the first thing second thing is because there is not much uh retail traders okay yes there are small uh, retail traders but there's not a lot there's not a big group of retail traders trading okay uh i i think Singapore market is like the remiser themselves are trading because no customer and second thing is is some small customer okay i think remiser maybe represent even more volume okay in terms of the institution right it is more of they are not trading they are more like uh, investing so you don't really get very good uh price movement do you follow what i'm saying okay so but in us right the 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 in us market the volume is there okay there's a big amount of volume and on top of that there is also uh the commission is also lower do you follow what i'm saying okay so let's identify uh patterns okay see whether we can see top okay top what are the patterns bottom any of the patterns okay uh in the top over here we can see what we call a triple top okay uh i didn't cover triple top but basically it's like a resistance over here so let's identify all this okay triple top is quite similar to uh head and shoulder pattern okay so triple top will have three top okay prior trend is uptrend okay then come downtrend this will be the neckline okay and this day right hopefully later you can see the volume uh, see whether the volume is there and um yeah so this is a then also we have price projection so we have price projection from here this is a one from here to here is a one then go down go down to here is a one okay so this is a one to one uh, ratio okay it's a one to one ratio this is called a, a triple top similar to the head and shoulder pattern the only difference is uh, the only difference is really the the only difference is this this top here the thing get higher okay 
So let's take a look whether this candle here does the volume shoot up. Okay, I don't know uh, because I don't know Singapore stock. Okay, so let's see volume, volume. Oh, so messy. Okay, so okay, so can you see here? Okay, volume here rather big. Uh, yes or no? Okay, this day candle, the volume is rather big. Okay, compared to the next few days, compared to the few, next few days before, this volume is rather big. Okay, so this is like a breakdown here, okay, shoulder pattern. Okay, so what other pattern can we see from here? Okay, a uh, continuation pattern. We can really see a continuation pattern from here. So we have this and then this. Okay, this is a continuation pattern. And let's zoom in. Prior trend, prior trend is prior trend is uptrend. Can you see that? Prior trend is uptrend, and then after that, this is another uptrend. So on the breakout candle, can you see this breakout candle, guys? Oh, the volume should start. Oh, then minimum price target. Minimum price target. You know what I mean, right? Minimum price target and minimum time. Okay, so this is an example of identifying can uh identifying patterns. Okay, of course, what you want to look for is now, lah. Okay, what is uh now? Okay, on top of here, there's a double bottom also. But let's let's look at currently what is what is any is there anything right now? Okay, is there anything right now? Nothing much, uh, okay? There's nothing much right now. It is just one pull back down and then a reversal up, okay? Nothing forming right now, okay? So, like what I say, can, uh, chart pattern are like map, okay? It's like map. So, right now, where are we? Are, in, are we in the middle of a triangle? Are we in the breakout of a triangle? Are we are we in the bottom of a hand shoulder? Things, you get, get what I'm saying? So, you need to know where are we right now. So, right now, we are nowhere, lah. Uh, you got it? Okay. So let's look at some other stock. Okay, let's look at it. MD maybe. I just randomly choose ah uh, because I also don't know what stock. Okay. So <clears throat> so this lesson right is more of uh showing identify helping you all to identify. Uh, patterns okay how we gonna identify pattern where are we in the pattern so very simple right on the uptrend there's always triangle can you all see the triangle some of you can see some of you cannot see okay let me remove this first okay can you all see the triangles they're very simple right what you do is you just draw the uptrend line okay yes or no then you draw the horizontal line then these are the triangles. Ah. Do you follow what I'm saying? Like this is a triangle, it's a break of resistance. Okay, from here, th from here, maybe there's a triangle. These are all triangles. You got it? So in the uptrend, right, it keep happening. Right? Okay, so like jumper here, they'll draw the trend line. Okay, then from there, this are the horizontal line. These are the triangles. This is a maybe a pendant. Later we cover this. Okay. So this is a triangle, this is a triangle. Am I too fast? Oh, sorry, you can see, right? Cannot see, huh? Ah, that's why, that's why I say uh, all this chart pattern, uh, all this is difficult to do, okay? For graduates, you should be thankful uh, you got this, uh, okay? You got this, then you know, oh, uh, this candle here is a breakout, okay? Traders GPS buy signal, buy. Yes or no? Guys, okay, so you all must be thankful uh, for the Traders GPS, okay? For like example, here, this candle, a breakout candle, teeth there, you know, price here, or oh, this one. So, of course, if you learn, uh, if you learn all this uh, other pattern, it will help you. Uh. Do you follow what I'm saying? Let me draw this nicely, right? Okay, so it will help you, okay? So when you do this, it will help you to identify this is a triangle. Okay, this is a triangle. And then the price is going from here. The 
price is going from here up this way okay and you can identify this candle here can you see okay i bet you this candle is high i haven't seen the volume yet right but i bet you this candle is high so from here you can see oh this is a breakout this is a triangle so now on top of your trader gps buy signal and things like that so now you have a uh, one more tool okay which is uh can you see the volume is high can you see now guys we don't cover in smt this one okay smt we cover system trading okay system trading means cro buy okay okay so you have it easy right guys okay you have it easy can you see the volume uh victor okay okay the challenge with chart pattern uh, is is very subjective okay where to see the where to see the triangle and things like that so we convert this subjectivity into objectivity this objective right okay you can see this pattern over here okay so for graduates uh you already have it good already yeah uh. so but right now with one more tool at least it can help you to identify clearer okay i remove this for the time being okay i remove this for the time being so that i can show you like how the pattern is being formed okay so i like that actually ask me i can see almost immediately i can see like this i can see maybe from here i can see this pattern okay so the breakout candle is where here lah. yes or no okay of course this is subjectivity got a bit of skill lah. okay then you change the subjectivity into objectivity and from here you can see these candles yes or no okay okay so wow 40 minutes away last last chart okay let's let's take one let's take one more stop and then we will call it a day uh what stock you want to see boeing okay let's say you were interested in boeing right because boeing now quite free right okay so we were say, hey can i buy boeing or not? okay okay so this boeing to train our eye uh, to train, train our eye must remove all this uh, okay train our eye must remove all this okay so on the top okay on the top we were looking at uh on top we're looking at reversal pattern okay that means there's a reversal pattern on the top and then at the bottom and the, and the continuation will be all the uh continuation pattern do you follow what i'm saying okay so like for example when price is going up this way this will be the continuation pattern okay if i plot in the volume right you all may not be able to see also okay okay but if i if i do this if i draw a trend line if i draw a trend line then maybe you can see clearer so trend line you draw like that and then from there you can zoom in you can see okay all the triangles so here here this one this is like a triangle okay uh this is like a triangle okay can see that Okay, even this one is like a triangle okay so you check the volume here the volume here is zoom in a bit okay volume here is like that you check the volume okay breakout candle volume high okay this one uh this one this one the breakout not very clear okay they don't break out not very clear the volume not there the actual volume is actually this one okay volume is actually this one and then the this one is uh the volume also not very clear the actual volume is this one okay but if you use gps this subjectivity become objective uh, okay so from there you can see the signals this is a buy signal oh it's a buy signal along the way there are other triangles okay so here along this way there are other triangles so you have this can you see okay resistance and support okay these are all resistance and support got it any question 
Okay. Ah, Sheldon want to ask, right? CTXS, our stock, right? CTXS, how? Tomorrow, tomorrow we do a uh, webinar, right, guys? Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, right? We will still, still do our usual webinar. CTXS. The last one, and then we will call it a day, okay? I think this one you can identify one pattern, yes or no? Okay? Can identify? Remove everything. Oh yeah, tomorrow of class, correct. Okay, tomorrow maybe I talk about pendant. Okay, tomorrow I talk about pendant. I talk about how pendant is formed. Okay. Trade GPS is real time, of course. So means every day you can scan, you can look for stocks to buy and sell. Okay, it's the arrow is given real time. So CTXS, why Sheldon asked is because CTXS is a stock that recently had buy signal. Uh, yes or no, Sheldon? Okay. So this stock, uh, Sheldon, is right now at that resistance, okay? There is a prior resistance here, okay? So now the resistance is here. Oh, now the resistance is here. So it is doing okay. It's end of day. So you, when is graduate, right? Okay? Not real time, yes. Okay? So in terms of MA, okay, MA will always guide you. Okay, let's say example, we go back to here. MA will always guide you. Okay, so let's say example, we have the triangle. We have the triangle here. MA will always be on your side. Oh, uh, NG. Okay. So on a continuation pattern, pattern let's say I do S&P 500. Huh? Continuation pattern. MA will always be on the side. Means up means uh, you're looking for buy setup or oh, buy setup. So if you all can see, I uh, remove this. Can you all see all the triangles? Draw the uptrend line. Okay. Then draw the resistance. That would be the triangles. Okay. Like that. Can you see? Okay. Even this one, like a resistance. Okay. So all this, you can translate all this into system. There will be something like that. Oh, can you see this one, the breakout candle? Okay, there's a breakout candle over here. Ascending triangle, favorite, okay, my favorite. Oh, you're going through SMT class now. Okay, so SMT class, we won't cover this because this will be too uh, subjective, sub subjective. The challenge with being subjective uh, is this kind of chart pattern. Uh, the problem is hey, where to see, where to see, how to see. Eh? So it's very difficult to make money for most people. Yes or no? Okay. Well, see color, easy to see. Lah. Got, got color, then you say, oh, this one is buy, this is sell. Sell already what to do. You can learn short and things like that. It's easy to see. Okay. Okay, if not, then, uh, wow, 45 minutes, huh? Okay, so if not, then, see you tomorrow. Uh, we may speed up a bit more, and then we will maybe go into uh, other more interesting topic. Is today useful for you all? If it's useful, type yes, okay? Uh, do me this favor, share with people who, 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 who can benefit from this uh, training, okay? And uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, Benson, see you tomorrow also, right? right, right. Okay, doing class. Okay, if not, thanks very much. Thanks everyone for coming. Derek, see you.